Mark Schmidt, his second start since returning from a lengthy stint on the IL. His last outing, four and two thirds of four hit ball against the Cubs on Saturday. Former first round pick in 2017 of the New York Yankees. Top 10 in the American League in ERA when he was put on the IL at the end of May with a strained right lap. The Yankees who carry a two game lead in the American League East over Baltimore entering tonight. They can clinch a playoff spot as early as Sunday. Jaron Duran going to lead the way here with just 15 games remaining for the Red Sox in the regular season. Tapper right side Duran charging up the line and he beats it out. Close call at first ruled safe. Well, I was watching Gleyber Torres and he is not rated well defensively at all this season at second base. He had to go for a glove flip in it. You know, watching Durant, this guy plays with his hair on fire. You know, it didn't seem like watching Torres go to the ball. There was a real sense of urgency. I think part of it, but they've played each other already 11 times now, 10 times. You know this guy can fly. They'll bring up Rafael Devers. There goes Duran. And he's gone down. Not even close. Austin Wells on target, on time. One gone. Hey, Austin Wells has been so good behind the plate. Over 100 starts. And not even close to your point. One, two. And line to right for a base hit. So Devers is aboard with one out. It's Tyler O'Neill. Mm -hmm. O'Neill has been torching left handed pitching. 230 against righties. Still has 15 homers. Swing and a miss. Strike three. O'Neill is down on strikes for the second out. Brown looking for a punch out. Tap softly right side of the infield. Glaber charges near the runner, slings it across the body, and gets Yoshida. That ends the first inning. Well, we thought we were going to see Tanner Houck tonight for the Red Sox. Originally scheduled to start Monday, it was pushed back to today, and then a late, and I mean late scratch, Richard Fitz. Here you go. Take the ball at Yankee Stadium in a playoff chase. Well, and I guess it's fitting, too, because Fitz was traded for Alex Verdugo in one of the rare Red Sox-Yankees trades. High drive from Torres, right field, but playable for Abreu in front of the track. The 1-0, Zoto flies it, left field, O'Neal back, out of the track, backpedaling near the wall, makes the play, step in front of the wall. So both Glaber and Soto put charges into those, but two up, two down for Richard Fitz. Ball four, walk the bases loaded. He picked it Fenway, did well against the White Sox, but that's the worst team in baseball. This is one of the best. Yeah, different test here. Good time for an Andrew Bailey visit. Full house here just about. Here comes Jazz Chisholm as the conference breaks up. 22 homers, 66 RBIs for the former Miami Marlin who's hitting 261. 3 1 on the way. Chisholm, high fly ball, right field. It'll stay in the yard. Back to the warning track goes Duran. He's there and he makes the catch in front of the Yankee bullpen. That had about five feet to go. It would have been a grand slam. Connor Wong at 286 on the year, tied for the team lead in average. Breakout season, fights this off first base. It ricochets right into the glove of Rizzo. Well, that's a fortuitous bounce for the fielder. <laughs> Look at Rizzo laughing. It's an off-speed pitch, and I don't think Connor Wong saw exactly where it went at first. He probably thought it was a foul ball, and then it just kicks off right on the edge of the bag. It could have hit a worse spot for Connor. You, know, you want it to, to take a 90-degree angle maybe towards the Yankees' dugout. Tosses, drives it, center field, but right at Judge. Three steps back, Judge angles underneath, then makes the catch a one, two, three second for Clark Schmidt. Two up, two down for Schmidt, and that is seven in a row retired for Clark. Duran with an infield single his first time. One, two, swing, and a miss, strike three. There's the cutter outside. Clark Schmidt's second strikeout. He set down eight Red Sox in a row. Back at the stadium, Soto and Judge. A one, two punch. Soto to shallow center. Duran charges and makes the catch. I'll bring up Aaron Judge. Judge, who leads the majors in extra base hits this season, 51 homers, but more than two weeks since his last one. He is the only player, I, I still find this baffling, the only player with an OPS better than 1,000 in baseball. And Judge strikes out. First strikeout of the night for Richard Fitz. You can tell, like, the timing's just off. That's a top rail fastball. That's where he wants it. Fitz, who had 66 pitches, his first start approaching that number here. Casas and Rafaela come together and Tristan's there to make the play. Four pitch leadoff walk from Schmidt to Devers and the Red Sox have him aboard for Tyler O'Neill. One for three last night with a double. Strike three. O'Neill knew it. 
Well, you get to see the ripper. This is a two-seam fastball. Runs it way back. Swing and a miss. Wong down on strikes. Wong fans, uh, the fifth of the evening for Clark Schmidt. No score going to the bottom of the fourth. Here's Anthony Rizzo. Group to hit his first time. Rizzo into right center for a two-out hit. Cut off in center by Duran Rizzo. Wide turn, bad throw. He's going to scamper into second. I love this place so much, Alex. There's so many things that are right here. Look, Anthony Rizzo is not fast. He's not fast at all, but watch him. He's keeping his eyes and he's keeping his feet moving. So he's watching the outfield. He's thinking, I'm not going to stop until you stop him. Duran gets to it. And as soon as that ball's in the air, Rizzo just continues to move forward. See how his eyes are up? Little League, high school, college coaches, clip that, what Rizzo just did, and show your players. This is what happens if you don't have to be fast to take an extra base. So it's 0-1 to Volpe. No score here in the last of the fourth. Volpe serving this to right. Will it stay fair? Will it stay up? It is caught on the run by Abreu in front of the stands. And now Juan Soto with two gone. Boy, Alex Cora, he might get those five innings after all if they can get through Soto. In there, strike three called 90, low outside corner. What an inning for Richard Fitz. He is completely settled in here in the Bronx. Sets down the Yankees. One, two, three. And here's Tyler O'Neill. He has twice fanned tonight, both swinging. High drive in a deep left field. Verdugo back at the track. Verdugo at the wall. He's there to make the play. Back against the wall. Tyler O'Neill just missed that one. And Duran is back to first with two down. Died just on the track. Literally Verdugo's feet touching the padding on the base of the wall. And they're two down for Yoshida. Yoshida cranks one to right. Way back there. That ball is gone. Masataka Yoshida with a two-run shot. And the Red Sox have the lead. It was going so well for Clark Schmidt tonight. For Yoshida San, 10th homer of the year. It'll run Clark Schmidt out and just hush the crowd of the Bronx. Judge to lead things off and a bullet up the middle against the new pitcher, Justin Slate. If there's one thing that has been a major area of concern for the Red Sox, it has been their bullpen. The worst ERA in the big since the All-Star game and Judge is aboard. Stanton grounds it hard through the left side of the infield. Base hit Giancarlo. Judge up to second and the Yankees have two on, one out. The tying runs on and here's Jazz. Chisholm pops it up. Left side. Infield fly. Infield fly rule in effect. Second out of the inning. Which is so hard to hit, especially after he throws the Aussie pitches. Jazz disgusted with himself. Anthony Rizzo, two for two, a single and a double. Uh, this is a huge at bat for Rizzo. It's why the Yankees lineup looks so much longer right now. Swing and a miss. He got him with another high fastball, and the inning is over. Slayton pitches out of a jam. So here's Casas. And down in the seventh pitch, swinging a hard ground ball into right field. That's what they say. Right between Volpe and Torres. Volpe was behind second. And Tristan Casas has a one out single in the seventh. All right, here's Trevor's story with Casas at first. Sykes trying to pad a 2 0 lead here. Hard hit ball, deep right field from Trevor's story. It's gone! Opposite field shot for Trevor's story. His first homer of the season, his first extra base hit of the season, and he doubles the Red Sox lead. He did everything he could do to get himself back so he could just be part of this group down the stretch. Story time. Almost a mortal sin by Kelly. Two walks, and the Yankees have two on with nobody out. Here comes Andrew Bailey. Well, it's a tough situation. He's got to get Torres. Then you've got Soto, which you bring in Boozer because you have Judge after that. Well, Torres grounds into a lot of double plays. He can really use one here. Torres to left to base hit. Here comes Volpe around third. They'll send him home, and the Yankees are on the board. RBI single for Glaber Torres, and it's 4-1. And the tying run will come to the plate in the form of Juan Soto. Ball four. A four-pitch walk to Soto, and they're loaded for Aaron Judge. They all rise. Chance of MVP raining down from the stands at Yankee Stadium. Judge cranks one. Deep left field. A grand slam. And the Yankees have the lead. Right on cue. He snaps his longest homerless drought. Just like that, the Yankees are in front. They want a curtain call. The Red Sox have seen their nightmare repeat itself. Another bullpen meltdown from the Red Sox. 
five in the seventh. How about a second inning of Luke Weaver looking to close this one out. Yankees chance for another magical win down for nothing bottom seven a five spot and a go ahead grand slam for the captain. Strike three called four strikeouts for Weaver. I love this pitch so much it's a backdoor cutter he hadn't shown it to Casas at all. Austin Wells such a good job sticking that pitch popped up shallow center. Torres goes out makes the catch two away two out nobody on ninth inning Yankees five Red Sox four uh, if Weaver gets his last out he's going to savor it got him swinging a six out save for Luke Weaver and the Yankees win five to four a comeback from down four nothing tied for the largest comeback the Yankees have had this season and now the Yankees have a three game lead atop the AL East their largest since June 15th.